Okay, now we're going to uh, do a little review of the alphabet. As I uh, say them, you write them and say the sound with me. This is alpha. Everybody repeat when I say eh. 
this right here. that was a little bit more difficult to write. This is a C. C. We start at the top with a little loop. We make two bigger ones and then one at the bottom. C. C. It's the it's the C C. C. Now here's the word we learned last time.
Omicron. this word. We leave a little left over. Sigma. Sigma. When it's at the beginning or the middle of a word. But this is the same letter if it's at the end of a word. Это та же буква, которая используется в конце слова. Сигма. 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 It's like a snake. Она как змея. Сигма. Сигма. Окей. Now let's pronounce this word. А теперь произнесем вот это слово. Stauros. Stauros. Everybody. Stauros. What does it mean? Cross. It means the cross. That's right. Stauros. Stauros. All right. Now, um, let's look at a tau. 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 Okay. Pronounce. Ta. Pronounce this. Ta. All right, and pronounce this right here. Okay. Ta. Ta. To. To. Two. Two. 
Okay, Upsilon. 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 Hello, we don't see it. Move it to us. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Upsilon. 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 Ooh. 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 Some teachers will teach you to draw it like this. But it's, it's the same. Different printers of Greek text will print it different ways. But it's feet. F F B. F F B. This is key. 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 It's like a kappa. Key. It sounds like kappa. Key. Key. Be sure it comes down below the line. Alright, pronounce this for me. Cafe. I love cafe in the morning. Cafe. Do you drink cafe in the Ukraine? Uh, we, we, we drink coffee with O. Coffee. Oh, coffee. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you drink. Coffee. <laughs> okay, now this is C, P, P, uh, like a, it's like this, it's pronounced like this. C, C. Draw it, draw an upsilon. And then put a line down through it below the line. C. 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 This word right here is an important word in the Bible. Pronounce. Suke. 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 What does it mean? Soul. Soul or life. Soul or life. Suke. Okay. O O O. Omega. 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 O. 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 Okay. God said. Books to God. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the first and the last. I am the beginning and the end. The Almighty. 
The Alpha is the beginning and the Omega is the end. Alpha is the beginning and Omega is the end. Uh, Apocalypse 1.8 Okay, now I'd like to study a few diphthongs with you very quickly. When you have an Alpha and an Iota together, it's I, I. The I, I. 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 So if we have this right here, pi. 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 This means always. That's not just said up. Pi. Pi. Pronounce it. Repeat it. Pais. Pais. Ais. Pais. 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 Okay. Now, epsilon iota together. Epsilon iota means A. 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 So this would this would be pronounced. You would get a would it Pace. 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 Now, the Omicron and Iota together. Omicron Iota. Oi. 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 So, we have... Oi. Oi. Face. 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 Again. Oi. Okay. Now when we have Omicron and Upsilon together. Ooh. Ooh. It just sounds like the Upsilon by itself. Ooh. 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 together. This is 
is an epsilon and upsilon together. Это эпсилон и упсилон вместе. Ю. 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 When my little granddaughter sees a worm, she says, ew. 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 So, I, I, A, A, Oi, Oi, Ow, Ew. Okay? And then this is Upsilon and Iota together. And it's it's pronounced we, we. We, I know you think like we. Everybody, we. We. No? Woof, 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 we. 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 Okay. So if we if we just wrote the letter like this and put an omicron sigma with it like this. What is this? Вот эти буквы допишем омикрон сигму. Что говорится? Wheels. 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 But uh, it was pronounced with a rough sound uh, like a h, so it was pronounced wheels. Wheels. Yes. This what does this word mean? It means son. What's the word uh, like the son of somebody? How do you say that? Um, what do you mean? Like um this word right Here's what you write in the New Testament. It goes like this. This means son of God. This is Son of God. Okay, very good. Corazón, how do you say good again? Corazón. Is that right? Karasho. Yes, good. Karasho. Repeat then. Karasho. Karasho. Okay. Now, let's look, let's learn some uh, beginning verbs. <laughs> We're going to learn the present active indicative. Мы будем учить uh, время, которое называется uh, present, uh, настоящий, активный. Uh, Indicative. I don't know what, what the Russian word for that would be. Uh, let me explain this way. Uh, позвольте объяснить это. All verbs have tense and mood and voice. У всех глаголов есть uh, как бы время. Uh, voice. Uh, yeah, it's, I will explain. Uh, all verbs are either present or past or future. That's tense. If they are present or past or future, they are written in different ways. Если они находятся в прошлом, настоящем или будущем, то они будут написаны в различные формы. Our first verb is going to be 
Lego. И наше первое слово будет Lego. Everybody pronounce Lego. This means I speak. Now, um, the lambda, epsilon, and gamma are the stem. Um, now, this when it when it's I or you or we, that is the person of the verb. И когда uh, вот это я, мы, вы, это уже um, uh, личная форма глагола. Uh, if it is first person, it is I or we. Если это от первого лица говорится, то будет я или I or we, like uh, us, you know, we, I or we. Будет либо я, uh, я или мы. Second person is you singular or you plural. Third person is uh, he or they. It could be he, she, or it, or they. Now, this verb is present, it means I am speaking in the present time. And it is active, and that means that I am the one doing the speaking instead of the one being spoken to. И это актив, э, активный глагол, и э, указывает на то, что именно я э, совершаю вот этот акт говорения, э, я говорю вместо, вместо того, чтобы ко мне говорят. So it is present because it's happening in the, in the present time, and it's active because I am the one doing the action. И он э, э, передает нас, э, настоящий, потому что я говорю в настоящем времени, и он передает то, что действие э, активно, то есть я выполняю действие. If we said, I was baptized, that would be passive. Если, бы, если сказать, например, я был крещен, э, то это глагол э, в пассивном состоянии. Because somebody else is doing it to me. Потому что это кто-то сделал э, со мной. But if I said, I am baptizing, then I am the one doing the baptizing, and that's active. So every verb is active or passive. This is present, and it is active. All right, now, this is the stem right here. This omega ending is the part that means I, I am speaking. Now, if we write our stem again, and we finish it with ace. И мы напишем окончание ace. Legace. Legace. This means you are speaking or you speak. И тогда это слово будет значить ты говоришь. But you is singular, you singular. One person, you are speaking. Но в данном случае это будет в единственном числе, то есть ты говоришь. So up here is first person singular, I speak. This is second person singular, you speak. So you have your stem again, leg. See, your stem, your verb stem is the same, but your endings change. 
Видите, корень слова глагола остается все тот же. Меняется только окончание. So lego is I speak. То есть лего это я говорю. Legais is you speak. Legais ты говоришь. Everybody say Lego. Lego. And say I speak. Legates. Legates. And say you speak. Alright. Now we'll have third person singular. Legay. Legay. This is he, she, or it speaks. <laughs> okay, so lege. Lege. Everybody. Lege. Lege. Everybody. Lego. Lego. Legays. Legays. Lege. Lege. Okay, this I speak, you speak, he speaks. This is first person, Lego. Second person, Legays. Third person, Legay. Okay, now let's go to the plural. All of these are singular. И здесь у нас все в единственном числе. Теперь перейдем к множественному числу. Now let's go to the plural. Сейчас перейдем к множественному числу. We start with the same stem. Мы начинаем все с того же корня. See, the stem is the same all the way down. Видите, корень, он все тот же. But the ending changes depending on who is speaking. Но окончание, оно изменяется в зависимости от того, кто говорит. Легомен. 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 The accent's on the first syllable. Легомен. Легомен. Okay, this means we speak. Это значит мы говорим. So we have Lego, I speak. У нас есть Lego, я говорю. Everybody, Lego, I speak. Lego, я говорю. Legates, you speak. Legates, ты говоришь. Lege, he speaks. Lege, он говорит. Lego men, we speak. Lego men, мы говорим. Then we have... Um... Legate. 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 That means you plural speak. You all speak. Now, legase means you speak. But this is you singular. Just one person. You speak. И здесь в единственном числе, то есть ты один говоришь. If you're talking about a group of people and you say you speak, когда мы говорите, говорим о группе людей, то мы говорим вы говорите. Like you all, that's legate. You all speak. То есть все вы, это будет легате. Вы говорите. So we speak Lego. Мы говорим Lego man. You all speak legate. Now we have third person plural. Legusi. 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 That means they speak. Это значит они говорят. Everybody say they speak. Legusi. Legusi. You speak. Legate. We speak. Legomen. 
He speaks lege. On lege. You speak leges. Ti gavaris leges. And I speak lego. Ja gavaru lego. Now you should learn your uh, verb paradigm like this. Вы должны выучить вот эти схемы окончания глагола вот так. Lego, leges, lege. Lego, leges, lege. Everybody, Lego, leges, lege. Все повторяем. Lego, leges, lege. Lego men, legete, legusi. Lego men, legete, legusi. Lego, leges, lege. Lego, leges, lege. Lego men, legete, legusi. Lego men, legete, legusi. All right. Now, let's learn a word here. Let's learn a word here. Logos. What does that mean? A word. A word. That's right. So if if I write out, what does that mean? Now say it on your first. Pronounce it. Again. What does this mean? I speak a word. I speak a word. Correct. Now you're translating. See, I speak a word. What if we write? We actually, I didn't actually write it correctly, but it should be written like this. But that's okay. Well, uh, we'll, we'll write it incorrectly right here for a minute. Lego men logos. Lego men logos. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. We speak a word now, and and I I was trying to teach you how to do a sentence, but I these nouns also have different endings, and I'll teach you that a little bit later. И я просто хотела вам показать, как формируется предложение, но э, я скажу тоже, что у э, именно рецательных также есть различные окончания, и мы будем их изучать много позже. Okay, so um, if we say this right here, Jesus. Если мы здесь скажем Иисус. Who's that? Right, who is that right there? Кто это такой? Jesus. Okay. How would we write the verb if we were talking if we said Jesus says? How would we write the verb? Если нам нужно было сказать мысль, Иисус говорит, как какое окончание мы поставили? Леге. So literally, it would be Jesus. He says. И буквально это значит Иисус. Он сказал. Он он говорит. But if Jesus is the one doing the talking, he's a he, see? So he says, Jesus says. This is really important stuff we're, we're learning here, so focus. Now, if we put apostolos. Actually, I'm going to make it plural and say uh, apostoloi. Apostoloi, that means what? Apostoloi, that's who? Apostles. Apostles. Now, how would, if we have apostoloi, plural, how would we put the verb here? Если у нас есть слово апостол, то в какой форме мы напишем слово? 
Yes. Legusi. Legusi. The apostles say. Apostles say. Apostoli govorak. Literally, the apostles they say. И буквально это звучит апостолы, они говорят. All right, very good. Очень хорошо. Uh, okay, let's learn a different verb. Everybody write with me. Beta. Beta. Lambda. Lambda. Epsilon. Epsilon. Pi. P. And then Omega. Blepo. Blepo. Everybody repeat. Blepo. This means I. Uh, we lost the sound. I don't know. Hello? Yes, yes, we hear you. Okay. Can you see me okay? Uh, we, we, we just see the, um, the, notebook, the notepad. I don't know. Oh, you don't see me, but you just see the notepad? Yes. Interesting. Well, okay. we have a full screen, so... But, but that's all you need to see is the notepad. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's good. I am so beautiful, but you're missing out on seeing me. <laughs> okay, so we have blepo, I see. Then we have... Blepace. Blepace. Everybody repeat. Blepace. Blepace. You see. Uh, That's you singular. Then you have blepace. Uh, he sees or she sees. That's third person singular. Then we have blepo men. That would be we see. That's first person plural. Then we have blepete. That's you all see, you plural see. And then you have black pussy. That's they see. All right. Now, here's our stem. See, our stem is right here. Blep. That's our verb stem. And the, the stem doesn't change. But the endings change. So you have O, A, A, Omen, Ete, Usi. Those are the endings that change the person. Notice that those are the same endings we had up here. See, O, A, A, Omen, Ete, Usi, same endings. The verb stems are different because they're different verbs. So you change the ending to change the person of the verb. 
Now let's write several verbs down here. Um, let's write the verb luo. Luo means I loose or I destroy. Luo. Luo. And we already learned lego, which means I speak. And we, uh, let's see here. We already learned blepo. Which means I see. Notice I'm defining these as I do these things. That's because the ending is O. If you look up a word in a lexicon, it will always be in the I form of the verb. So you won't find leges in the lexicon, Brother Ro. You will find lego. And they expect you to know the other forms of the verb. So if you're looking in the New Testament and you find uh, this word, you need to know that you need to not try to look up Lego men, you need to look up Lego. Because this is the first person plural form, you need to know what the verb stem is. It's L-E-G, Lego. <coughs> this is why you need to learn to say your verb paradigms like this. Lego, leges, lege. Lego, leges, lege. Lego men, legete, legusi. Lego men, legete, legusi. Blepo, blepes, blepe. Blepo, blepes, blepe. Blepo men, blepete, blepusi. Blepo men, blepete, blepusi. Luo, lues, lue. Luo, luo, luo. Luo men, luete, luz usi. Luo men, luete, luz usi. And you need to practice that over and over and over again until you can say that verb paradigm. И вы должны практиковать вот это произношение много, много, много раз, пока вы не запомните наизусть. Okay, so <clears throat> let's learn another verb. Pronounce. Grafo. Grafo means I write. <clears throat> if we look in uh, 1 John chapter 2, Когда мы посмотрим на первое послание Иоанна, вторую главу, verse 12, 12 стих, он говорит, графо, 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 this is, I write to you, children, и здесь говорится, я пишу вам, дети, and here he says, I write to you, fathers, и здесь говорится, я пишу, and here he says, I write to you, young men. 
but you've got I write, I write. Okay. Grafo. Um, let's see here. Let me see if I can find you another example of a a verb in here. Grafo. Right, right here. This is First John one verse four. Everybody pronounce this. What does that mean? We write. We write. See? Grafo, grafes, grafe. Everybody, grafo, grafes, grafe. Grafo, men, grafete, grausti. Grafusi. Grafo, men, grafete, grafusi. So, grafo, men is we write. See? See, the stem is. Uh, the stem is graf. Graf. That's the stem. Grafo, men. Grafo men. We write. We write. Everybody, grafo men. We write. We write. But grafo. Grafo. I write. Grafo, grafes, grafe. Grafo, grafes, grafe. Grafo men, grafete, grafusi. Grafo men, grafete, grafusi. Grafo men. We write. We write. Grafo men. We write. Grafo men. We write. Grafo. I write. Bravo. Okay. Very good. So let's learn another verb. Let's see if it's time. What time is it here? Let's take a five minute break and then we'll start again. Now we're into some important stuff here, bro man. If you can get this down in your head, learn the simplest one and you'll have them all. Learn Luo. Gary in here, he really needs 
needs to stop. That guy's got a good mind, real good mind, good student, but he reminds me a lot of you. This one's real easy for you to remember. That's a row. I got here plenty early. Nobody made it for me. I made it for my father-in-law this morning at his house a little after 5 o'clock. Fixed his breakfast for him before I left. <laughs> Man, it's been sweet. I'm just now recovering. How's your dad doing? Man, my dad is has been in the truth, but so far, I mean, we don't know what the came home and do, but all he's having is mild here. They're <coughs> right on the patrol. So, his body's going on. That's good. Doctors sound positive and upbeat about things? When they started, yeah. You know, and they told us uh, in reality, give them about two or three months. You know, they'll be able to tell. How it's doing? Yeah. yeah. They told us after a month, you can't really tell much. Okay, everybody getting ready? Es tiempo comenzar otra vez. Today we are learning verbs. We are learning the present active indicative of verbs. All right, let's look at another verb, echo. 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 It means I have. Echo, I have. Echo, I have. So, luo, I loose. Luo, я рассказываю. Luo, I loose. Luo, я рассказываю. Ego, I speak. Ego, я говорю. Blepo, I see. Blepo, я вижу. Grafo, I write. Grafo, я пишу. Echo, I have. Now, what if I was to write this? What does that mean? You have, you in plural. Yes, right. You have, you plural, you all have. That's what it means. What does this mean? How do you say it first? How do you pronounce it? He has. He has, or she has, or it has. Okay. So if we put um, like this, Yes, 
That would be Mary has. So if we have Mary here, it means she has. But if we have Jesus has, then it's he has. But it's always third person singular. Whether it's a he or a she, it's just one person that has. Okay. Um, what if it says, um, let's learn another word. This is Mathetes. Uh, Mathetai. Everybody pronounce it. Mathetai. This means disciples. Mathetai. No, not Mathetai. Mathetai. Right. Disciples. It's plural. <laughs> how, would, how would I finish this and say, uh, disciples, write? Okay, so it would be... Because it's the disciples they write, see? Now, if we made this singular and made it just one disciple, Matetos. Then how would we write the disciple writes? But if Peter is talking and Peter says, I write. How would Peter say, I write? Grafo. The omega form is always, I write. All right. Grafo, grafes, grafe. Grafo, grafes, grafe. Grafomen, grafete, grafusi. Grafomen, grafete, grafusi. Lego, leges, lege. Lego, leges, lege. Legomen, legete, legusi. Legomen, legete, legusi. Echo, eches, eche. Echo, echo, echo. Echo men, All right, another verb. You should do bubble. Lam. Everybody repeat. Lam. Lam. Ban. Ban. Oh. Oh. Lambano. Lambano. This word means to receive. I receive. I receive. Lambano. 
Я э, принимаю ламбану. Everybody repeat. Lambano, I receive. Lambano, я получаю. All right, now let's write lam ban ace. Lamban ace. That means you receive. Это значит ты получаешь. Lam Bane. Lambane. See our verb stem is right here. Lamban. That's our stem. And we add the endings to change the person. Just like Lego, Legais, Lege. Now we've got Lambano, Lambanes, Lambane. Then we have Lambano men. We receive. Lambanete. Lambanete. You, plural, receive. Lambanusi. Lambanusi. Oh, I need to move it up or you don't. Lambanusi. So let's say it. Lambano. Lambano. Lambanes. Lambanes. Lambane. Lambane. Lambanomen. Lambanomen. Lambanete. Lambanete. Lambanusi. Lambanusi. I receive. Ya polucai. You receive. He receives. We receive. You receive. They receive. Okay? Another very important verb. Gin, 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 os, os, co, co, ginosko, ginosko. This means I know. It doesn't mean yes, no. I know. Yes, no. Ginosko. Now watch this. In nos case. In nos case. In nos case. That means you know. In nos case. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Genos ku si. Genos ku si. So we have genosko, genoske, genoske. Genosko, genoske, genoske. 
Ginoskomen, Ginoskite, Ginoskusi. Ginoskomen, Ginoskite, Ginoskusi. This is like Lego, Leges, Lege. Lego, Leges, Lege. Lego men, Legete, Legusi. Lego men, Legete, Legusi. Or Blepo, Blepes, Blepe. Blepo, blepes, blepe. Blepo men, blepete, blepusi. Blepo men, blepete, blepusi. Every time you learn a verb, learn the paradigm, learn the whole paradigm for that verb. You never just learn echo. You learn echo, eches, eche. Echo men, echete, echusi. Echo, eche, eches, eche. Echo men, echete, echusi. Because you need to know how to write have in all of its different forms. Okay, now let's see if I can uh, test you a little bit. And I know I haven't taught you all the forms, but you can figure out some of these things. What does that mean? I have God. I have God. That's correct. How about say it, pronounce it first. <laughs> Father sees. A father sees. That's 
That's correct. Oh, I can't see it. Now let's try this right here. I can with that though. And they said that it means father knows. A father knows. Da, a kid is not. A father knows. See? Um, how about... Um, singular. You have to remember the paradigm. Genosko, genoske, skinoske. Genosko men, genoskete, genoskusi. Okay, when I was a boy in Wyoming, we had an old truck that didn't have a, a cab to it. It was just a windshield. It was open to the cold air. И uh, у них был такой старый uh, грузовичок, не грузовичок, uh, пикап, и uh, нем, в нем было только лобовое стекло, то есть uh, холодный ветер задувал. And in the winter at night we would go out with a spotlight. И uh, зимой uh, ночью они uh, выезжали с... Uh, Or just the headlights of the truck. We would go out in the in the wilderness. And I would have my gun. And we would shine the lights on a jackrabbit, on a big rabbit. And, and the big rabbit would freeze right there and he'd just look like this. И Зайц, он буквально таки замирал на месте. And then I would shoot him. И тогда в него стреляли. Some of you look like the rabbit that's in the headlights. 
And that tells me that you've had enough Greek for today. So now you can you can wait till next time and we'll start again. <laughs> Okay, um, we will start learning a few nouns next time in the form of nouns. All right, see you next time. Not only, not only did they, you just said I've had enough before I did, didn't you? You, you said I'm...